Hello everyone, welcome to day 27th of February Deed Code Challenge. And the question that we have in today is maximum width of binary tree. Here in this question, we are given a binary tree and we need to identify the maximum width that exists among all the levels in this tree. As soon as you read the word levels, you should get the hint that BFS traversal is the way to go. And how do you define width value? Width at any level is defined as the length between the end nodes the rightmost and the leftmost non-null nodes wherein the null nodes between them are counted into the length calculation. So remember this definition and let's walk through a few examples. Here they have provided us with this uh, binary tree and the maximum width would be equal to 4. How? We have 5, this node, this is the leftmost node, this is the rightmost node. How many nodes are in between them? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to count the null nodes as well that exists in between them. So the total width becomes 4. Let's walk through this particular case. What is the leftmost node? Leftmost node is this, rightmost node is this and we need to identify the width between them. So the maximum width would be of 2 units and this is what the answer is. Let's walk through this particular case. Here the leftmost node happens to be this one. However, there is no rightmost node to complete it. So we have to skip this level. We'll go back to the previous level, which is 3 and 2. What is the maximum width between them? It is of 2 units. And the answer is 2. Also, I would like to highlight one more case, which is not that intended from this question, which is this one. We have 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 6, 46, 15. And from the look of it, uh, what would be the answer corresponding to this? We have 46 here. So uh, we have null and this is the leftmost node. 15 is the rightmost node. So upfront, it may appear to you that the maximum would be equal to 1, 2, null here because we have null here. We have 3 here. So we'll when both the children are null, 3, 4 and 5. From the look of it, you may feel the answer should be 5. However, that's not true. The answer for this particular case would be 7. And this is the most important test case which most folks will tend to miss. How will it be 7? I'll explain the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Maximum bits of binary tree, lead code 662. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So let's go back to the basic example. We have a binary tree with two nodes and uh, one is the root of the tree, the left child is 3, the right child is 2. So what can I do? I can assign weights onto these nodes. So the root will have 0th weight. The leftmost node will automatically inherit the weight twice the parent node. So it would be equal to 2 times of 0, which again makes it 0. And the rightmost node will acquire the weight 2 times the parent plus 1. So it would give us 2 into 0 plus 1, which is 1. Here we did 2 into parent. I'll tell you why will this work and how will this work. Once you have calculated this, you will start the BFS iteration level by level. And what do you do? You will calculate the width between the leftmost node and the rightmost node. It would be equal to the leftmost node weight is 0, the rightmost node weight is 1. So 1 minus 0 plus 1 would give you the answer which is 2 in sync with our expectation. Let's proceed ahead. Let's go and start assigning weights to it. We have 0 to the root. Next we have 3. So 2 into 0 gives us 0. So we'll have 0 here. We'll have 2 into 0 plus 1. So we'll have 1 here. Let's proceed ahead. We'll have 0 here. 2 into 0 is 0. 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1. Here we'll have 2 into 1 plus 1 because we're moving we are moving in the right direction so this will give us 3 and let's go level by level uh, we'll calculate the value for this particular level it will gi give us 1 minus 0 plus 1 in sync with our expectation the maximum width for this particular level happens to be 2 we did it in the previous section as well with respect to this what is the leftmost node this one what is the rightmost node this one so what would be the value 3 minus 0 plus 1, 3 minus 0 plus 1 and this will give us 4. So far the algorithm seems pretty easy and simple and we have appropriately calculated the expected value for width. 
and so once you have calculated these values across levels you can pick up the one which gives you the maximum answer now comes the most interesting case this is a same tree that i showed in the presentation so we have 1 3 2 5 3 6 46 and 15 the answer for this turned out to be 7 as i how let's have a look at it so we have 46 here we have null here we have null here we have null here and what people tend to miss is this null node so we have null here we also have two nulls here which upfront doesn't exist but yes if you think that it's a complete binary tree then it will exist now if you count the number of nodes between 46 and 15 it will turn out to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which is in sync with our expectation the answer should be 7 rather than 5 people tend to miss out on these nodes as a result of which their algorithm will never work this is the most important part of this problem which is not that intended from the description now comes the question will our algorithm be appropriately fit in into this the answer is yes how let's walk through it let me just change the color of pen and let's get started so we have zero here we are moving towards the left so we'll multiply the parent value weight with two so zero into two is zero here we'll have one or uh, zero into two plus one let's proceed ahead next we have five and here the weight would be zero here the weight would be one here the weight would be zero and let's move towards this part of the tree here we are moving towards right so we'll multiply the weight by two and add one to it this gives us three let's proceed ahead since here we are moving towards the leftmost direction not the right one so we'll multiply the parent weight into two so parent two into parent will give us the weight for this particular node and it turns out to be six now let's use the formula and calculate the width at various levels here the width would be equal to 1 minus 0 plus 1 1 minus 0 plus 1 so one possibility for answer turns out to be 2 absolutely correct here the width would be equal to 3 minus 0 plus 1 what is the node value here 3 so 3 minus 0 plus 1 gives us 4 so the other possibility turns out to be to 4 and here the last possibility would be equal to 6 minus 0 plus 1 which is 7 and the maximum width that you are able to identify turns out to be 7 and this becomes the answer. To conclude it further let's quickly have a look at the coding section. Here I have taken a max width variable. Here I have taken the map and the key would be the tree node and the value would be the weight that we have allocated to it. So this is node comma weight and I have declared as a hash map. I have put the value for the root as 0 and I start the BFS traversal. I add the root into the queue. While my queue is not empty, I calculate the size. I calculate the weight associated with my leftmost um, node in my map and I use queue.peak for finding out the leftmost node corresponding to a particular level. This is slightly different and unusual but that, that we, we usually don't peek out elements upfront from a particular level but if you carefully visualize this will give you the leftmost weight value associated with the leftmost node while size minus minus is greater than zero i pull out the head value i calculate the current width the current width, width would be equal to map dot get head minus left plus one and i compare it with the maximum width variable that i have already calculated if moving ahead if my um, map dot head is not null i what do i do i add it to my queue and i update the weight associated with my head dot left node that is equal to 2 into map dot head uh, map dot get head this is important and in case my right is also not null i add it to my queue and update my map with right dot head node comma 2 into the parents weight value plus 1 so 2 into parents weight value plus 1 here we simply use 2 into parents weight value once I'm done with this, I simply return the maximum width that I have calculated so far. Awesome. Uh, it is six, seven times better. There can be slight improvement done uh, over here, but I think it's fine if you are able to come up with this kind of an approach in an interview. Uh, this brings me to the end of today's session. If you are interested in more tree playlists, then I'm attaching the link in the description below. Do give it to a shot and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more updates from Coding Decoded. 
थैंक यू